everyone, I'm Ashley Cannon Newell and for Paper Tray Inc's 2012 Summer Camp, I am introducing to you a mini book tutorial using envelopes, an envelope mini book. And here are some photos that show how you can create that envelope mini book and have your little inserts or pockets for memorabilia and photos. So first things first is you need some A2 envelopes. I have rustic white here. You can use any color. Craft white, um, rustic white, or any other colors that you have um, in your particular stash. Here is one of the envelopes here and you see it has a flap. What I'm going to do to all of the envelopes, I'm going to be using five envelopes to end the mini book album and I'm going to be creating will be essentially five pages. You can use fewer or you can use more envelopes. It depends on what you have to include in your mini book. So I'm taking my paper trimmer and what I'm doing is I'm basically using that crease that is there um, in the envelope as a guide on my trimmer to fold it down to know exactly where to trim it off. So I've done that already for the sake of saving some time on the rest of the other uh, four envelopes. So here they are with all of the flaps that you use to fold over to seal the envelope already filled out. I'm sorry, already cut cut off. Um, so here are five envelopes and those are my pages. And now what I'm going to do is for my next step is prep the envelope liners. And here is the A2 envelope liner die and I'm going to be showing how to die cut it on my cuddle bug here with this uh, melon berry damask pattern paper. So I have my C plate, my, my B plates, I'm sorry, I have my A plate, my B plate, and then I put my pattern paper face up, my die face down, and then my C plate. And now I'm just going to run it through. Okay, now that I'm, I'm done die cutting, I'm going to move that cuddle bug out of the way. And here is the finished result. Here's the die. You just take that right out. Um, and the actual die cut just fell out, and that's my extra paper there. So here you can see that there's a scored line that is embossed when I did the die cutting. So as I did for my envelope, I'm going to use that scored line as a guide to identify where I need to cut it off so only the part um, that's going to fit inside the envelope will be shown. So that's the extra flat part. I won't need that. I can set that to the side and use it as a scrap for later in the mini book album or for some other project. So here's what you're left with. I've already um, die cut from different pattern papers um, the this, this same envelope die um, and cut off the that right side, or I should say above the score line. And now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and add the liners with my adhesive into each envelope. So when you're building um, mini albums, it's just easier for me to go ahead and prep each page first and prep the entire book first to a certain degree and then start adding pictures and embellishments. For this particular type of album, if you're just making pages, it may be something a little bit different, but for this one, it's easier to prep it first um, like this where you have all your envelope flaps cut off and your all your envelope liner liner die cuts already done and then adhered into the envelope. So this part can get a little bit tricky because you have your adhesive on the side and you're working with the pocket. So just make sure you keep your pattern paper um, up to the top of the envelope as much as possible before pushing down. That's the best tip I can give for this process, but 
it will stick down there a little bit here and there because the paper um, does have tendency to fall. You just have to try to keep your hands up and not try to press down until you have that side uh, lined up on that edge there. Now I, I chose to use different pattern papers as for my envelope liner. Um, you can use cardstock, the same color, or the same um, pattern paper, or the same uh, color, just different patterns, like from those um, new pattern papers that Paper Trank has out now. Um, I just wanted something a little fun and um, the, the kind of like a various type of look, so I chose to use different patterns and different colors. But I think this is a great way to add some color and extra flair to your um, envelope mini album because you have the envelope um, liner die and what better way to actually use that to actually insert that those patterns and colors in there so you already have some a great new look here as you can see with those patterns and those colors popping out from the edge already you can kind of get an idea of how this book is going to already be coming um, along already with just a few die cuts and some adhesive and trimmings. Okay, moving right along, now that I have my envelope um, liners all set, I'm going to take this pattern paper here. Um, this is from Road Trip. Here it is here, that ocean mist one down there. And I'm going to, I've cut here um, my pattern paper to six inches by five and three quarter inches. Five and three quarter inches is the portrait length of uh, the envelopes. So right now I'm using my score buddy and scoring at one half inch, every one half inch. So one half inch, one inch, one and one half inch, two inch, and so forth. Um, and you'll get an even scored area because it's an even number of six inches in width by five and three quarter inches in length. So you can see the score lines here and what I'm going to do now is accordion fold or another way I like to describe it is fan fold those scored lines back and forth. You see I'm flipping it over each way and this takes no time at all as you can see. And I'm just making sure it's nice and scored there. All right. And this is your binding pretty much for your book. So I'm going to take each envelope and see I'm putting some adhesive here on that envelope. Take each envelope and then I'm going to call these hills and valleys. You have a valley which is your low point of these accordion folds and then you have your heel which is the high point. Well the envelopes are going to sit in the valley, the lowest points. So it's the lowest part of the fold, not the peak part. So the reason why I put my adhesive there on the front is because I can easily just push down and squeeze that pattern paper right along there. So that one's done. That's my first page. Okay. Now I'm going to take my second page, my second envelope. Again, run that adhesive down that side and go into the next valley. As you can see, I'm showing it from a top angle here. And then just press. It's really easy to do um, once you just start that process and know which area you're supposed to fit it into. It's kind of hard to push it into any other part of that fan fold, that accordion fold um, area. So it really comes together really easily. And I'm stacking it up like this, number one, so you can see, but number two, to make sure those pages are even and flush um, with the table service so that I know my I'll have even pages. Okay, last page, and I'm just going to push it down here, and as you can see here, it opens up. You can leave it like this if you want. It's perfectly fine. 
um, it's but you can see here it it turns just like a book and the reason why I use pattern paper as you can see there is that that pattern paper shows so if you see here if I squeeze this together I'll get a thinner book so what I'm going to do now is make sure that when I adhere the back side of that pattern paper the accordion fold um, that white side if I adhere it down will it will it still allow me to turn my pages and yes it will so these are the steps and these are the things I think about when I am creating something new or trying to build something like this so I just test it out before I actually add the adhesive and push my fingers on that binding just so that it would know um, I would know whether or not that this technique will work so I'm going to go ahead and go for it and I'm going to open it up and I'm going to add adhesive like I said on this back side which is the white side of that pattern paper and you can just add it every other um, part fold area every other half, half inch is fine because once you bend it it's just going to fold together okay so Gotta make sure I get my folds back right again. Alright, I started at the top and then I'm just working my way down at the bottom. Okay, so I'm adding the adhesive here on the back because it's like an extra part there that was just needed to be adhered down that that one section so it mimics the front. So I have a little piece in the front. Okay, so here's how it looks, and I can easily just flip each page. Isn't that so neat? And you can see that pattern paper. I think that's just so awesome. I'm left with these two half-inch pieces, one on the front. I call this part the front and one on the back. So I have here two pieces of cardstock. I'm using Ocean Tides cardstock. It is um, five and three quarters um, by five inches and I'm left with one half inch so what I'm going to do is score along the one half inch here I'm scoring down so your five, um, your five inch side should have been at the top of that score, score buddy there. Okay, I prep my folds. And here are the, here they are, front and a back. And here's my, um, my pages, almost a book. And I'm going to basically adhere the scored parts together. So I'm going to go ahead and add adhesive to the insides of those pieces of cardstock. And as you'll see in here, I'm going to adhere that part right to the back of that pattern paper. Okay, so I just slid it right through there. All right, I'm going to do the same thing for the front. Fit it right in there and then Fold that pattern paper right over. And you get that nice pattern paper spine there. It's really cool. Okay, so see, whoops, it's just not, it's not all together yet. Because I need to adhere that back side of that cardstock to those envelopes. So I'm going to do that on both sides. And my book is is pretty much done. Um, the bones of it, the skeleton part of it, and you can see here I can flip through and have pages. 
The cool thing about this is, is that you have envelopes where you can store memories, um, receipts, tickets, you know, and so many things you can store in there. Um, it looks like an accordion fold on this spine, spining like. You can easily take some more cardstock and cover it up to have a cool little binding part. I'm going to leave mine like it is here. I think that's cool. Um, but you have options to change it up. But this is just the bones of this type of mini album. Um, you can also use the same technique and use just regular cardstock pages. You don't have to use envelopes. But envelopes are really cool and it also creates a new way for you to use those envelopes and have pockets in here. So you can store things like photos, receipts, tickets, um, and things you pick up along the way on your trips or things that are very important to you in your life that you want to make sure you capture each memory. So here it is. And um, I'm, here are some photos of how the mini album looks after I added photos, die cuts, and embellishments. And you can see how you can put it together, and make it your own, and really make it just pop. There will be more photos on my blog displaying each page in detail. Thanks so much for watching. Mm -hmm.